guys. What's going on? Welcome to Red Rock Canyon. And welcome to the 2021 new Ford Bronco. Unfortunately, this is not mine. I am just borrowing it from Ford, so shout out to Ford. I've actually taken this on a road trip with my sister Justine behind the camera, and we drove it from Los Angeles to Vegas. We're now Red Rock Canyon. And I'm just gonna do a very quick little tour. Um, we've also kind of have a lot of stuff inside. It's 106 degrees, and I'm sweating off my microphone, so let's talk about it quickly. I personally love this. The front of this is so nice. We got the white Bronco right here, the letters, the lights, beautiful. This is the lightning blue. This is also the first edition Sasquatch, which means we have the 35 inch wheels. They're huge. I, it looks bigger than 35 inches. How big is 35? It's, it's pretty big. Like, comparison to my leg? Yeah, wow. This is the two door Bronco. You also can get the four door. The two door has been something to get used to because I'm so used to having four doors. Personally, really like the two door. It also has the hard top, which I have not yet taken off. You know, I just haven't done it yet. I'm enjoying the air condition in the hot Vegas temperatures. I'm gonna take you around to the back first before we get into the air condition. Now, please remember that we have been driving this from Los Angeles to Vegas, and I have been storing a lot of things in the back. So here's all my gear. Here's, um, I think, I think that's Oh no, that's mail. It's either mail or trash. If you wanna put the seats down, you can pull the lever in the front to pull up the base of the seat up a little bit, and then you pull this lever, and it goes down like that. Pull it down, and then you have quite a decent amount of space. I was actually very surprised. It's a decent amount of space. Okay, do you think we should go inside the air condition to chat? Just, it's really, really, it's so hot. Okay. She has almost fallen. Wow, I'm very happy that we're inside. It only says it's 94 degrees, but it feels warm. Okay, so the interior of this, this is a nice blue interior. It is so nice, it's very subtle. So this is like gray, and right here, the Bronco, this is like a blue. The screen on here is actually very incredible as well. I'm not sure of the size of the display, but driving here was really nice, having like the CarPlay, having the GPS pulled up on a nice big screen. I was a big fan. Another thing that I actually thought was pretty interesting was up here on the dash. It gave me the fuel economy. Looks like I'm averaging right now 16.9 average miles per gallon. It was a little bit better um, earlier, but then I think Justine took the car. Oh uh, yeah, I ran out of gas almost because I didn't know where the fuel was. The fuel. Well, we did try to get gas and they were like, we're out of gas at the gas station. So we just went on our way. Hey, did you tell them about our dad who had a 75 Bronco? Was it a 75? I thought yeah. it was in the 80s. No. Well, I guess he still had it in the 80s. Yeah. Yeah, so growing up, our dad, well, I wasn't around then, but I do remember he had it for such a long time. He actually had, uh, I guess, a, a Bronco from the 70s. I used to have I used to have a little Bronco shirt with like a, it was like a glitter Bronco on it. Really? Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna see if I can find one on eBay to buy. Over here is where we adjust the mirrors as well as put the windows down. Center console actually has a surprisingly lovely amount of space. Also my hat, I was looking for my hat. It also has a wireless charging dock. We also do have USB-C and USB type A. There's also another option up here for another charging. But yeah, I just have been driving this, like I said, road trip. Haven't really had a time to explore all the features because I've just been driving. But the drive has been very, very nice. We also have power outlets here in the back. We have a USB-C as well as USB type A. And we have an AC 110 volts plug. Hey guys, sorry that you couldn't go in the car. Those are my friends who I said couldn't be in the car because we were filming. The cameras on here are actually really nice. This is the front camera, so I used it the other day when I was I wasn't really sure if I was gonna, you know, get close to something. I also like the overhead shot, and let's give you guys a view of the sunset. Put it in reverse, and here's the uh, the back camera. The sunset action. It's nice. So thank you so much to Ford for loaning this to me and my sister for the week to drive. I have gotten so many compliments. I, like, police stopped me to say hello. Random people tracked me down at a gas station to say hi, which, I mean, and this sounds all crazy, but seeing how excited everyone is to just look at it, it makes me very, very happy knowing that there's a community of people out there who just really makes happy, and I am now part of that community. It's pretty great. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, and I will see you again next time. I still have a couple more days to drive this. Beep, beep. Let's go. Get in, loser. We're going to dinner.
I'm gonna drive away.